Hi, I'm Iggy with Lincoln Electric, and today we're going to be going over how to operate the Masterpipe Compact Profiler. First off, you're going to want to create a part to cut. You can do that either in the WinMPM program on the machine or through the pipe server program if you've purchased the upgrade. We're going to go ahead and open up the WinMPM program. I have a shortcut right here on my desktop. Once that opens, you will have a preview or the, the machine type kind of right here in the very center. Uh, this will be different for each machine that you are using. From here, all we have to do is go to program. We're going to name the file type. Select the material size that you'll be using. There are some pre-configured material sizes. So let's say we're doing six inch schedule 40 or you could come in and manually type in the pipe diameter that you're using. This would be the OD or outside diameter. And then you can manually type in the wall thickness just in case it's not a schedule pipe. At that point, we're gonna set the base length or baseline length. This is the distance from short point to short point on your pipe, on the end piece of your pipe when your pipe cuts out. So we'll just go ahead and make that 12 inches for now. And then cutting method, this should always be plasma. All MPCPs will be a left to right machine. So the end one here, end two, let's go ahead and put a cut on our end one. We can just go ahead and put a miter cut here and then the edit button pops up. We can go ahead and edit this. We can then go ahead and put in the intersect angle, preset weld prep, different things like that, depending on the machine you're using. We'll just go ahead and put this at 45. When we're done with that, we can go ahead and press the return button right down here. Next, we'll go ahead and put any midsection cuts that we may want. From here, we can go the type of midsection cut so that we can go round rectangles, things like that. We'll just go ahead and put a round circle in here. The diameter of the circle, we'll just go ahead and put in, oh, two inches. The X rotation would be if I, the very top would be zero rotation, the bottom would be 90. So let's go ahead and just put it at 90. The Y distance, this is always going to be a negative number. So it'll be from zero or the end of the pipe into the pipe. So let's just go ahead and put that at negative six. Intersecting angle would be the intersecting pipe angle that's going to be intersecting to this and the center line offset to be if you want it to be off center line. When we're done with that, we can either add more insert um, or we can go ahead and be, if we're done, we can just go ahead and press return we can see that midsection point there and then we'll go ahead and put end two and we'll just go ahead and put a straight cut here. Again, if we wanted to edit this, we can come over to edit. In here, we can go ahead and change our weld prep angle. As you can see, this I cannot edit this because this is for the MPCP, so I do not have an auto tilt bevel. If this was the MPM machine, I could put a pre weld prep through here so that way the machine does it itself. Once again, I can just go to return when I'm finished. At that point, I'm done with my part. I can go ahead and press calculate. And at that point, you will get a preview of your part. And it has already created the file you need to use for the job. Now that job, once we have created that job, it is saved in one of several places, depending on what machine you're using. So if we were to open up our file explorer inside the Windows C drive, the places that the job can be saved will either be in the controller data jobs folder or inside your NPM program, you can be in the Torchmate VMD jobs, which is what we just created, that demo job, or Torchmate VMD jobs. This will be for your MPCP or the Masterpipe Compact Profiler. And here's how to use the pipe server program. First, we're going to go ahead and open up the pipe server program. When this loads up, you can see the machine that this is programmed for. So you can be either on the Vernon MPM machine or the Vernon Mini or the Master Pipe Compact Profiler. From here, it's going to load up and give you a list of the parts that are already created. You can bring these in through spools or parts that you've created previously, but we're going to go ahead and create our own part or new design. So we'll come up here to the top left, press new design. From here, it will go ahead and give you a few options. Number one will be the outer diameter of our parts. So we'll go ahead and just open this up. Say we're using a four inch 
schedule 40 pipes will come in here say schedule 40 and we'll give you the standard wall thickness for schedule 40 at four inches the length will be set afterwards from here we can go ahead and name this part if we want let's just call this uh, demo you can change or create a customer name uh, we can say what job it's for if you like and then we'll just come on down here and we'll say hey we're gonna add a new end so we'll say let's say the first end is a saddle part you can come in and then at that point you could say hey my mating the part that I'm coming into let's say that that's six inches uh, the mating angle let's say is about 45 do your X offsets or mate offsets different things like that uh, we, if you have a torch angle you can go ahead and change the weld prep for this depending on the machine that you're using when we're done with this end we can go to our next end which will be a straight cut we can come in and say we want which offset we want, so how long the pipe is going to be. So let's go ahead and make this uh, 24 inches. If we want to look at our part, this will give us a preview. If we want to add any intersecting parts, or sorry, midsection parts, we can go ahead and add a hole or whatnot. So let's go ahead and add a hole here. Uh, at that point, it'll uh, say what size it is. So we'll go ahead and say, hey, I'm going to be at, um, let's say, 180 degrees, which be this would be zero here. And then we go to, all right, it will show you the, oh, let's go ahead and press enter. It will show you that zero is here, 180 is here, degrees. Uh, we can say, hey, up how far you want to go down. Let's say 12 inches. We can see that propagated onto our part here we can say the diameter of the hole that we want say it's two inches and then any offsets or things like that again if you had weld prep or anything we can go ahead and set that up from here I always like to reorder the cuts so it'll automatically reorder the cuts so that way the it'll say one two and three at that point we can just go ahead and schedule our part so this part has been created but it's not been put in our list to actually cut so we'll go ahead and press schedule new part it will ask you how many of these parts you would actually like to cut we'd say hey I want four of these cut I can schedule these parts and now they are in our list we can come over here we can actually see the list if we were to go to the name itself um, let's just go ahead should be alphabetical now a b c d there's our demo parts so one of these is for 10 inch pipe one of these is for four inch pipe and we can see that we have a total of six for the 10 inch and four for the four inch and then you can, if you click on it you can get the preview of your part at that point we want to go ahead and come over to our nesting portion Once we're in here, we can go ahead and press nest or new pipe. We can then say what pipe we're using. Remember the schedule 40. And then we can tell it how long the pipe is. We can type in 120 inches or we can type in 10 feet and it will automatically convert the inches. We press OK and it will automatically give us our pipe size here. From there, it will also give us the different pipes or different parts that we have available on this pipe size. So we can see here, if I wanted to, I can just go ahead and say uh, nest all or select all of my parts, or I can just select the parts that I actually want to nest and then just press auto nest. From there, it will automatically put those parts on there. You can see it rotates the parts to where it fits the most effectively. At that point, if we wanted to come back and add more parts, we can, or if we're done with this pipe, we can go ahead and just press the create NC file. I would like you to make note that the pipe number here, pipe 48, is going to be the name of the pipe that, you want, that you're going to cut, or the file that you're going to cut for this pipe. So when we're looking for a file, we'll be looking for file named pipe 48. So when we press create NC file, it will go ahead and pop this up to say, hey, make sure we can actually double check that our outer diameter and wall thickness are what we told the machine. 
We can then press create NC. We can also create labels if needed. Um, you can enter your heat number here to keep tracking of that. We can go ahead and press OK. And then we'll get that little pop up here. You'll actually notice that we'll have a little pop up here. This will tell you several things. This pop up will tell you that the pipe 48 is the file name and it was saved in a file location of this is my computer name. So that would be on your C drive in the file Vernon dash mini NC under pipe 48.nc so the pipe 48.nc and that's where the file location is so this is where you would actually find the file that you just created uh, you can check where that file is going to be created if we go to settings up here at the top and we can look right here under the folder address or IP address this is where all of your files will be saved to you can change this if need be that's how you create a part and nest that part through the pipe server program once we've created a job, either in WinMPM or Pipe Server, we're gonna go ahead and select the job, load it, and go through the steps. Just so you know, the screen that I'm using may be a little bit different than the screen you're using, but the steps will still be the same. So first off, let's go ahead and select the job. We'll do that by pressing Select Job. I'm gonna make sure that my job is job curve compensated is set to yes. I'm gonna go to Browse, find the job that I've created. I'm just gonna do two straight cuts. Press open, I've got the job name up here at the top, which says I'm cutting the job that I've created. Next up, we're gonna wanna make sure to set the material thickness and amperage properly for the, material, the wall thickness and the amperage consumables that we're using. We can then go to the plate setup window or job setup window for uh, older versions of the software. Inside here, we wanna make sure that our pipe diameter is set properly for the OD or outside diameter of the pipe. Next, we can bring the Z-axis all the way down. We're doing, we're gonna set the top of the material because with black iron pipe, it is very difficult to get ohmic sensing through the mill scale. So we're gonna bring the Z-axis all the way down and touch the very top of the pipe, just barely. Boom, once I get the very top of the material, I can then press set for the top of the material. At that point, I can also bring my Z-axis up and bring my Y-axis towards the end of the pipe and then I can also press set plate origin. From there, I can go ahead and press close. All I have to do now is make sure that my plasma cutter is on, correct, set to the correct amperage. I wanna make sure that I'm in active run. In the AVHC window, we're gonna to wanna to make sure that the IHS is either on or off, depending on if we're using that black iron pipe and where ohmic sensing is gonna be able to be used. Uh, cleaner pipe, ohmic sensing can be used. The black iron pipe, heavy mill scale, IHS will not be able, or ohmic sensing will not be able to be used. Next, we're gonna to wanna to make sure that the AVHC mode is either in auto or manual, depending on if we have, uh, again, clean pipe will make it a little bit easier, or if your pipe is gonna be deviating at all. Uh, at that point, I'm gonna be using mine in manual mode. I personally like to run a little bit slower on the pipe, so I'm gonna take my percentage override and put that at about 80%. You can uh, play around with those feed rates to, to know what's perfect for your machine at your shop. From here, all we have to do is press the run job button and we will cut our job. And that's how easy it is to use the Master Pipe Compact Profiler. If you want more information, give us a call at 866-571-1066.